Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a thrift haul for you. Um, let me make sure you can, there you go. Now you can see all the goods. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it is mostly sweaters. So I think we'll just dive right in. I'm filming two videos today and in Minnesota we have like very few hours of daylight now that it's winter. So I'm trying to get them done so that they look the best with better lighting. Um, I will say I filmed all the try-ons before this and I had sun coming in the windows and it is not the best. So please ignore that with the try-on bits. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's just jump right in. So I think let's get everything else out of the way and then do sweaters last because that's the majority of them. Um, so let's do pants because there's only two. I found these guys, which I'm super excited about. And they are these little pink zebra print pants. They are super cute, super stretchy. Definitely are like a like wholesale-y, you know, affordable, uh, they made pant. Um, but they do have real pockets, which I was kind of surprised about. So I think they're cute. I haven't, I think I wore them one time, um, but they just look a little bit too pajama-y for what I want. So I'm trying to find a way to style them and hopefully I can figure something out because I do like them, but I, they just look a little bit too like Zubas once I have them on. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, next I got just this pair of plain black skinny jeans. Both of my black skinny jeans like went to shit. So I had one that was kind of more of like a gray wash um, from like H&M or something like super long ago. Um, and they had got a bunch of like pulling in like the booty and I went to put them on and they just looked so bad. So I was like, okay, I think it's time to retire them. I've had them probably like five years now. <laughs> so I got rid of those and then I had another pair that I think they were from Target or something originally that I thrifted a few years ago. And they were kind of like my staple, like my solid black skinny jeans that I would wear all the time. And I tried them on last week and they do not fit. They're way too tight. They're like squeezing my belly. So I think they might've shrunk a little bit in the wash, um, but yeah, so they had to go. So anyway, I was on the hunt for a while and then finally yesterday I found these and they're perfect. Um, they're just from Zara. And like I said, they're just plain black skinny jean and the ankles aren't like crazy super tight because on my other two pairs they were. Um, they were like Hot Topic skinny jean days. Um, so these are perfect. I'm gonna get so much use out of these and I'm so glad that they fit. <laughs> um, okay, apologies, my memory card is full. So not sure where I left off there, but we're just gonna end the pants there. Um, that's all there was. So <laughs> um, let's do dresses because there's just two. Um, so this one, I was really excited when I saw the tag because it's from Lulu's. So you know this is a high quality bitch right here. <laughs> um, and it is super, super cute. It just doesn't fit me quite like I'd like it to. Like the top is obviously a little bit big in the try-on clip. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can finesse it. Otherwise I might just give it to a friend because um, it is so gorgeous and it would have been the perfect Christmas dress. The perfect Christmas dress. So I'm a little heartbroken, but I'm gonna see if maybe I can finesse it somehow. I don't know. I It's such a nice quality that I don't really trust myself to try to sew anything about it. Um, but it's cute. It's perfect for Christmas for sure. Um, next dress I got, I'm super excited about this one. It is this totally vintage piece. Um, looks like it's right out of the 70s, I'm gonna say. 70s or 60s? Um, probably more 70s. Um, but yeah, just this super long maxi dress. These super beautiful, like, little balloon sleeves. So adorable. And it still cinches the waist nice and perfect. It is so cute and I just love the pattern on it too. Like these are totally colors I would wear. Um, and I just think it's gorgeous. I definitely need to go take a picture in the cemetery in that. Um, we'll definitely do that soon. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And then moving on, um, I got some tops that are not sweaters, just a few. Um, a couple of really basic ones. So we'll just get these out of the way. Um, I got this just black and white striped onesie. I love wearing like onesie pieces in winter time because I feel like it just holds your heat in so nice. Um, so I definitely appreciate it. And I figured black and white striped can't go wrong. Just a good basic. Um, so yeah, just that it's from the gap. It fits really nice. And then another basic piece I got. I just love the color of this and I knew like it would just fit me really nice. So just this little like scoop neck, um, abdominal colored long sleeve. 
can't find words. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. And then a couple other, or actually one more basic top. So this is, I guess it's kind of a sweater. Um, I just really liked the crop of it. It's just from like that Liz Claiborne brand that you see all the time at the thrift. Um, but I just liked the crop and that it's plain black. I feel like I'll get some good use out of it. Um, nice, easy little piece. And then a couple more fun ones. I got this one, which the tag kind of looks like H&M, but it doesn't have a name on it. So I'm not totally sure. But I was just obsessed, of course, with the colors and the pattern blocking and just everything. I just think it's so cute. I mean, be so easy to just wear with like jeans and spice up something or to wear under a shirt too. And then just have the two different sleeves poke out. I think that would be super cute. Um, totally makes me think of like Unif. It's definitely not from Unif, um, but gives me the vibes, right? Um, next, this I'm so excited about. And literally when I tried it on, I was feeling myself. Uh, this is totally gonna be a winter vibe. Um, but it is this adorable freaking high turtleneck red cheetah print top, knit top, um, with the cheetah face on the front. So when I saw it in the thrift, it was actually backwards and it had the tag um, like uh, stuck to the other side of the face. And so I thought it was just this, which would have been just as cool anyway. But then it had the face and I was like, you're coming home with me. Um, so freaking cute. Couldn't stay away. Um, next, just a couple of little accessories. I got two shoes here. Um, so <laughs> I couldn't resist because this was my middle school and into high school career. Um, the Osiris, the chunky Osiris shoe. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, then what you don't know is a lot. Um, yeah, so I found the pink and black version with the zebra print. Look at how freaking, wow. Amazing. Uh, they're like brand freaking new too, almost. There's like a little bit of wear, but not nothing crazy. Um, I wore these out like twice, but I think I am gonna sell them, so they'll be on my Depop if you like them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they just, I couldn't resist, you know? I just couldn't resist, they were so cool. And I absolutely adored those in middle school. So, uh, something that I like more nowadays, uh, I found some Nike Air Maxes, um, and they are really beat up, I'm gonna, bleach them and clean them a little bit, but I just haven't had time yet. But I just love, again, the pink and black. I can't get away from pink and black. It's like my color combination in my heart and soul. I feel like that's what my aura is. Um, <laughs> but these are just so cute. And I mean, obviously I'll wear them a lot. So had to pick those up as well. Speaking of pink and black, um, other two accessories are also pink and black. So <laughs> I got these little earmuff ears that have ears on top. I love earmuffs in the winter so much because obviously it's effing cold here. Um, but I love earmuffs because hats ruin your hair. And then like, if I wear a hat out, I have to wear it like all night. You know what I mean? Um, so I love wearing earmuffs and these are just so cute and adorable. And I could have passed them up with the little ears. Another little winter accessory I got is this little headband, totally 80s vibes. Um, but I had a vision for this. So I did my hair for the try and clip here. So take a look. Um, I had a vision, okay, like really high ponytails and or pigtails. And then this little guy like right over my forehead. So cute. Um, if I ever take up a winter sport, which will probably never happen, um, that would be so cute with like big fuzzy boots or something. I don't know. I just, I had a vision. Um, I found this adorable Betsy Johnson bag. I've been really into like, not all of Betsy Johnson things, not all, um, but a good amount of them lately. And this is actually perfect because I really wanted to replace my work bag because I really need something that like can hold my laptop a little bit safer, you know? And it's got kind of like this quilting on it. So it's got a little bit more padding. And uh, I mean, it has a zipper to my work bag right now. It's just a tote bag and it's just not working for me. Um, and I love that it also has different compartments in it too. So I am obsessed. And then it also has a strap you can hold here or a backpack strap. Um, so yeah, I think it's super, super cute. It was worth the $12, I guess. Um, but yeah. All right, let's move on to sweaters. Um, let's just start at whatever's on top of the pile, I guess. Um, uh, this I've already worn out a few times. It is just this super cute, like Southwestern kind of inspired, looks like a blanket, you know, the vibes, um, super cute. It's just like a little felt. So just a nice little over throw jacket, but this is nice to wear like over like a turtleneck or something. Um, I think that's how I wore it when I wore it out already, but super cute. Definitely a vibe. Um, 
Next, I got this one and I was really excited and it's really cute, but I didn't try it on until literally just now and it's kind of itchy. And some people like that kind of wool. I don't know, it just doesn't. But this kind of wool does not vibe with me. My skin does not like it, um, so I'll be selling it. But it's super cute and look at the little crop on it and the all around pattern too, I think is adorable. Um, so someone needs it, just not I. Um, all right, next I got a whole bunch of chunky sweaters um, as well that I'm super excited about. So I got this adorable baby pink. Oh my God, the pink, the pink. Um, it is this cutie little piece from Banana Republic, which I don't even know if I've owned anything from Banana Republic, um, but I just thought it was so cute. And like this with like a long velvet skirt or something. So precious, so precious. Or like a collared shirt underneath too. Oh my God, that would be so cute. Um, but yeah, I'm literally obsessed with the color. It is just like bubblegum, baby, princess, everything. Um, love that for me. <laughs> Another pink one. Actually, almost all, all of these are pink. There's one red. Um, but the, another pink one I got, this is from BP from Nordstrom. Obviously, got it at Savers, but um, it had tags on it too, so it was brand new. And it's marked as an extra, extra small, but uh, it fits like a smaller medium. So I don't know if they're just being generous or if it's supposed to be a little oversized, but it's so cute. And again, another, a different pink, a different pink, but a very good pink as well. Um, so freaking cute. I've worn this like four times. I wore it like three days in a row already, but it's just perfect. And it's just such an easy thing to throw on for work and whatnot. And it's not too chunky where it's gonna like get in the way and all that good stuff, so. Yeah, uh, another pink and black combo, you guys. This long little express moment. I will say every time I've gone into an express store, I've liked nothing. However, when I find things at the thrift store and they're express, it happens more often than not. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's just older express that I vibe with, not sure. Uh, but I got this cute little V-neck, um, longer sweater so i could totally wear like a little skirt or something under it make it kind of like a dress uh, but yeah of course obviously just love the pink and black i don't know what else to say but this would be cute with like a white um turtleneck underneath too to kind of break it up that would be adorable if that kind of like stuck through you know um next so you might remember this sweater that or this cardigan that i thrifted a while ago um it is super cute. It is covered in pink hearts, like 3D hearts. I've been waiting for Valentine's Day to come around so I can freaking wear this thing. Um, but it's so adorable. I have actually worn it a couple times, so not that dramatic. But um, then a few weeks ago, I was at the store and I found this sweater, <laughs> this red version that is not the cardigan version. It is the just like the pullover sweater version. Um, the size on it just says one. Like, I really don't think it's an L. I think it's a one. Um, it is pretty huge on me, so I don't know. Um, but it's really freaking cute. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with two now. I feel like I need to, maybe Nicholas can wear the, wear the red one, I don't know. Um, but I need to find someone to wear it because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with both. Uh, but they're both cute and Valentine's Day only comes once a year, so. I don't know. Um, all right, the last thing I th thrifted recently is this sweater I'm wearing. Um, so this is actually from Princess Polly, which is really cool because I love how Princess Polly stuff fits. Um, I've never bought anything new from them though. I had like uh, two other dresses, I think, from the thrift. Um, but yeah, this one ha was new with tags too. So I don't know if someone ordered it and it just didn't fit, but I'm happy that it worked out this way. Um, but yeah, it's just this cute little quarter zip, got a big pocket cheetah print, more could you want, you know? And I feel like any quarter zip I have is like usually pretty big on me, so I'm glad this one is a little bit more fitted. Um, kind of gives a different vibe, so yeah. All right, guys, sorry if it was a, maybe a little bit of a shorter video. Um, I'm trying to film two videos today, so I am trying to beat the sun. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gave you some inspiration for winter. Um, yeah, winter time, I'm always like really inspired in the beginning and then as it just drags on and on and on, I get really bored and cold. So trying to stay inspired this year, we will see of course, but yeah, I hope that this was fun for you guys and I hope you enjoyed. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.